U.S. nuclear-powered attack submarine, the USS Pintado. A nuclear-powered sub is very much alone at sea. The duty is hazardous. You volunteer for this job and mostly for the money. Days drift into months without daylight. That, we're told, is the hard part. Here's part two of Steel Shark. U.S. nuclear-powered attack submarines lurk undetected beneath the oceans of the world. One of the military's most secret weapons, not surfacing for months at a time. And there are times when no one outside of the captain and crew know its precise whereabouts. I have been told where I need to be in the world, so the U.S. government and my superiors always know where I am. Um, do you know exactly where I am pinpointed on the world? No. Over the years, the Navy has lost two U.S. nuclear-powered submarines at sea. It was in April of 1963 that the Fresher made her last dive and became the watery tomb for a crew of 129 men. The Thresher reportedly sank because of a faulty pipe joint. The Scorpion was lost in 1968 when one of its torpedoes accidentally misfired. Neither the subs nor their crews have ever been recovered. In the movies, imminent disaster often looks and sounds like this. It is here in the small sonar room of the USS Pintado where up to 11 technicians at once remain on watch, listening for any signs of an enemy ship. But the ping sound, made so familiar by Hollywood, is now history. Rather than going active, like the old submarine movies that you've seen, we do it all passively now. Instead of bouncing sound waves off a suspected enemy ship to pinpoint its location, risking detection yourself, now they just look for a brightening on the screen which indicates a noise source, and then they listen. By our audio that the equipment gives us, we can tell whether it's a, a warship. The sound that you would get from a warship is a galloping, like a horse running, real clean galloping beat. And with a submarine sound, if you can hear it, it would just be a hiss in the water. Running silent and undetected is sometimes a matter of keeping the crew silent. Most of our noise is just caused from the people on the ship shutting doors too hard, dropping dishes, slamming uh, book lockers. But when we have to run quiet, we have to go to another mode, you know, in this quiet running mode, and then people are limited to what they can do. If you're not on watch and you're not needed on watch, then stay in your rack. Basically, what we do is train. We practice all sorts of casualties. Anything that can go wrong on a ship, things break, so we practice how to deal with that. Uh, how to attack other ships. You could see on the periscope, we could see a, a tanker, and we could sink that if we wanted to. Once the torpedo tube is ready to go, we'll have yes indications uh, for whatever tube we're going to shoot. And we, if we were at that stage where we wanted to shoot the weapon, we could use this panel. If you were actually firing a torpedo, it's just simply by moving that? Yes. Stand by and fire, and it's gone. Three, two, one. <laughs> No U.S. attack submarine had fired a weapon in combat since World War II. Then on January 19, 1991, a Tomahawk cruise missile was launched from the attack sub USS Louisville in the Persian Gulf War. This is the torpedo room in the U.S. Pintado. This is where the Yapoon missiles are stored. This is the sleep. Look at the torpedoes, and you'll see on the wall in the back, mattresses that's right up against the torpedoes. Stand clear, open breach door, tube one. We watch as a Mark 48 was moved toward the firing tube. There is no margin for error. 3,000 pounds of hydraulics are used to tube load the weapon. Clear forward. Clear forward like that. This is a stop bolt. Stop bolt holds the torpedo in the tube until, until the time of fire, at which point it rolls out of the way and releases the weapon. Uh, the grates that you see on the bottom are where the water enters the tube and forces it out. Prior to opening a breach door, the first thing that you have to do is verify the tube empty. The first one is sight glass. You're looking for any indication of water in the sight glass. If there's water in the tube, it'll show up red. This tube is drained. First call, first all the colors. The second indication you look at is tube drain indication on the count on the panel. The tube indicates drains. Grammar's in forward control. Gramming. Clear forward. Aft. Clear aft, aye. Eh? The Mark 48 is designed not to actually hit the ship, but to explode underneath it and use, um, it basically vaporizes the water underneath the ship 
so that the ship can't support its own weight and it breaks the keel of the ship so the ship breaks in half and sinks. Uh, one Mark 48 can sink a destroyer in about 20 seconds. The USS Pintado left Alameda on October 16th. It is unknown where it is tonight. You can submerge where you cannot be seen and then you're not heard. And with those two facts, if you're not there, you don't exist. So you're out of sight, out of mind. And that's the usefulness of a attack submarine. We'll go out of San Francisco Bay and we'll submerge a ship. And next place I come up, I guess that's when you'll find out when I come up.